that's really what I feel life should be about. Pursuing those things that bring you joy and sharing them with people in your life that care about you and um, helping, helping them find their joy. I think that's what we're here for. Hello, I'm Cheryl. Welcome to my channel, if this is your first time, and welcome back if you've been here before. I appreciate all of you, and I'm very excited. I actually, um, I was I was out of town when Milan had the graduation ceremony. Um, it, it was being cast live, um, and I, I couldn't watch it from where I was, but... Um, my mom actually noted that they showed people's, all the graduates' um, names and a painting um, that they've done. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I thought, oh, I better watch it. So I went back and watched the graduation, and um, it was really fun to see my name on there and uh, one of my paintings. And... Um, they held the graduation in Italy, which I've always wanted to see Italy. So it was something like, oh, I wish I could have been there. But anyway, very exciting. And I'm very proud of um, of having taken the course, gone through the course, graduated from it, got my certificate, and benefited so much um, with the skills that I've learned and so on and the confidence I've, I've managed to finally kind of get to this level of, of confidence that, and you know, I'm still have a long way to go, but I, I feel like I have learned so many important things. Um, and it, it's, it's been frustrating because I haven't felt like I found my voice, but I, I keep going back to this layering and abstract, um, and uh, uh, not necessarily collage, but I, I just realized I really like the layering and the abstract realism. In fact, I'm working on um, the painting that I mentioned in the last video, and a little further on it, and I'll, I'll pop that up real quick so that you can see it close up. So I, I'm pretty happy with this so far. Um, I think that there's there's a few little details I need to work on, like um, uh, I think I'm going to make the tail go off the page, and I might thin it out just a little bit because it's a little bit wide for a Roadrunner tail. Um, but it again, it's not supposed to be super realistic because it's kind of a stylized Roadrunner on an abstract background. So anyway, um, today is the day after... Election Day here in the United States, and uh, I'm putting out this video as a way for me to kind of shake off the whole thing and and um, allow my head to be filled with things that are creative and fun and beautiful, um, and hopefully. Uh, you will find the images here, this, this image in this painting. I hope that you find it pleasurable to look at. Comment below and let me know what you think of it, because I would really like any tips or advice that you may have, anything I should change, or tell me what you do like about it. Um, and I will certainly take your suggestions into consideration. I wanted to share the process of this painting, although I you missed out on on the background part for the most part, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, the process was just layers of acrylic paint and mark making, and 
colors turned out just a little bit rainbowy, which um, I'm not really happy about that. I don't know why I keep doing that, but they're all kind of mixed with the same basic um, value and tone. It's like I, I tried to mix colors using, you know, the same palette so that they all kind of related. Um, anyway, but yeah, I am doing a lot of painting right now and sketching and just keeping my, my mental health in a good state. Um, it's always nerve wracking, uh, when we have elections here in the United States and sometimes you feel great afterward and sometimes you feel not so great. Um, and it's just been a really kind of crazy, crazy week. So here we are with, uh, a way for us artists to escape. And so I guess that's kind of what I'm doing. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you. So I'm very excited about finishing this painting and, um, entering it in to the show. Um, I think I mentioned in the last video, they're only accepting, I believe 30, 30 artists. I think it was not sure. Anyway, but it's pushed me to do something different, which I think that that's what I need. I need to explore my own version of, of abstract realism, my own version of contemporary art. Um, because while traditional realistic fine art, there's a place for that and there are still collectors out there. Um, I think that I'm enjoying the abstract more and I can still do realism on top of the abstract background and kind of just create a more of a contemporary look. So I'm excited about going forward with that, but I'm also having to split my time because I have books to finish. And I mentioned that before too, I have books to finish. So I need to, um, I kind of need to organize myself a little bit better so that I have certain days that I'm working on my, uh, my paintings and certain days that I'm working on my art for my books. And then certain days I'm working on my writing for my books on top of housework and dealing with whatever family needs come along. And I know I'm not alone in that. It's a big juggle to do, right? Um, but my, my life is, it's so full. It, it, I just, there are so many great things. Um, and you know, that's really what I feel life should be about pursuing those things that bring you joy and sharing them with people in your life that care about you and, um, helping, helping them find their joy. I think that's what we're here for. Um, being good to each other as humans, that's a big one for me. I, every day I slip up though, every day I have my moments where somebody cuts me off on the freeway or does this or does that. And, you know, I'm yelling at them in my car. So we all have our moments of, of backsliding on being a good human not going to talk politics. I'm only going to talk about what it means to have come to the point that we now have the freedom to vote. Um, women didn't always have the freedom to vote. In fact, here in the United States in the seventies, when I graduated from high school in 1978 and within my, those first 18 years of my life, up to, I think it was 1975, I want to say, which I would have been 15. Women had to have their husband's signature to open a bank account, to get a credit card, to buy a car. So thinking about that, I was 15 years old. And then thinking back to my grandmother in her lifetime, she saw the right to vote come along. That's just mind blowing. And, and so I, I want to say to all of the young people out there, I didn't mean to make this like a, a soapbox kind of 
thing, but I, I'm going to say this anyway. All the young people out there, I think, I, I want them to know that here in the United States, the, that women didn't have the right to vote in my grandmother's time until, you know, so when she was growing up, about the same age I was when I had, when they gave us the right to have our own checking account, my grandmother still didn't have the right to vote. So in thinking about those things, we need to cherish, and that's why, it, you know, cherish that we have this right. And that's why it's important to me to vote. So many people have fought for this right. People of color didn't have the right. A few, you know, I, I'm so proud to be able to do that. I feel it's my responsibility and my duty. And so I am excited today to have finally gotten through this cycle of, um, of campaigns and all of that. Uh, the anxiety is overwhelming. So the reason I bring all that up is having something creative to do it helps to really kind of bring you into a focus on something other than what's going around, around going on around you. Um, so focusing on my family, my art, my YouTube art family, for me, especially today, is really important. And I personally feel like we're here. Humans have the capacity to be creative. Um, not many other life forms that we know of have that creativity and that imagination. Um, maybe we'll find out down the road that some other mammals do, some other animals do. But right now, as far as we know, humans are the only ones that have that. And it's such a gift to have imagination and to be able to create something from your imagination. Um, I, I just, I cherish that. So even though I go through times where I'm frustrated and I lose my confidence and I feel like, uh, why do I think I can be an artist? I still go through those days, but I always try to remind myself, you know, this is, this is your pleasure and this is in support of your mental health and in support of, of the creative urges that you have. So it doesn't have to be good. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to eat. No one even has to see it. Um, it feels good to do it. So do it right. And today, especially I'm really enjoying my art and I'm enjoying this guy over here. Um, I hope to finish this up uh, probably this weekend. Um, and then I think I'm going to, I'm going to do some small little, uh, some small paintings. Uh, and I'll probably do some demos on those because I'm going to, I'm going to try to do some, some more of the um, abstract acrylic layering. Uh, I do have another collage piece that I'm going to work on, and I want to I want to do a painting of my cat Simba on that one. He is uh, 12 years old. He seems to be really healthy right now, other than you know a few issues with um, I think food allergies maybe, but but he seems to be pretty healthy. I want to paint a portrait of him, an abstracty portrait of him, um, while I still have. The chance to take some good photos. So that's what I'm working on. And I'll probably, I'll probably video that to show you, uh, the technique that I use as far as the acrylic part of it. I've already collaged the background. Um, so now it's just a matter of, of, uh, figuring out how I, how I want to express him. I could do it like this where it's not, it's realistic, but it's not, um, it's, it's sort of a, uh, an abstracted realism, uh, or I could do it super abstract where it's just the outline, kind of like I did with my holiday peace card with the dove. 
I'm not sure which way I want to go with this. I could do it just super realistic where he's just floating in a background. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I'll probably end up stylizing it just a bit or, or making it kind of abstract. Uh, so the weather is turning. Uh, it's very mild here. I don't even have my air conditioner on, which in the desert, that's always the day to celebrate. Yay! Fall is here. No more air conditioner. Um, we have solar, so thank goodness it, it helps to keep our air conditioning bill down. But anyway, so it is very pleasant, and it's beautiful outside. Um, and I'm in my sunroom, and it's so comfortable in here right now. You know, usually it's blazing hot, and I have all the fans going. But right now it's quiet enough. I can hear all the birds. I can hear the, the wind. Um, and I'm, I'm just enjoying the day. Uh, and I really do appreciate you. And I, I hope that if you haven't subscribed yet, that you will subscribe and um, click a like for this video if you happen to like what I'm saying. And this vlog is really just kind of a catch up and a chat and a, me expressing myself. Um, but also comment on my painting that I'm doing and any tips that you may have or comments that you have. Let me know what you think. And, um, and again, congratulations to all my fellow Milan art graduates and students. Uh, if you've just started in that program, um, put a comment down and let me know. And if you are a fellow graduate, let me know. Um, it was so exciting to see some, some of the names that I come across on YouTube are names of the graduates that were popping up. And, and that was cool to see. And people that I've interacted with in the Milan Art Club, it was cool to see those names and those people pop up. It's like, yay, you know, celebrate for everyone. So I think that's about it. Just a, a quick little hello video and um, catching you up. And like I said, I will be putting up some some demo videos. Um, great. Well, I think that's about it. So I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for joining me today. And happy painting. Yeah.